the point node lets you take calculate the points on on a spline and output them uh, and output their position in the following way first let's create a spline let's create a rectangle press c to make it editable to be able to access its points then right click then create another object let's create a platonic object then right click the any object either the platonic or the rectangle and go to programming tags and choose espresso now drag the spline in into the espresso uh, panel and drag also the platonic object into espresso and search for um, point node here it is and connect the object port of the drag the object port in the point node to the object port in the uh, rectangle so just by dragging to the uh, red part and letting go it will ask you to uh, connect it to the object port and do the same and connect the point position which is the position on each point of each point on the uh, on the spline drag it and let go connect it to the global coordinates global position connected to the global position of the uh, platonic you'll see that the platonic jumps to the position of the first point what that means is what that means is that the node is taking the spline as input it's calculating where every point is and it's outputting the first the position of the first point and giving it to the uh, platonic object and if you select the point node and go to the attribute panel you can change which uh, point the which point the point node outputs so now it's outputting the point number zero which is this point if you increase it it'll output point number one and since there are four points from zero to three which is four points if you uh, increase it more nothing will happen because there are just four points you can also output the point count so let's get a result node type in result and connect point count to the result you'll see it's four points if the rectangle had more points it would show like how many points the uh, rectangle had